my ex-husband's theme song under my thumb. <laughs> anyway, I, I was just having a thought about something. You know, I want to make this clear to people. Uh, not that my way is the only way. Not that it's the only road, the only route. However, you ask me what works for me, so I'm going to tell you what works for me. Um, you know, I see some people even saying like, uh, you know, I'm feeling a little better and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that on this lifestyle I was going to lose some weight. It's not the main thing, but, you know, of course you want to lose some weight if you have weight to lose. That's your health journey. That's part of your health journey. You shouldn't really be gaining weight. You know, you might fluctuate a tad in the beginning, but as time goes on, and I don't mean a year later, I mean a couple weeks, maybe a month, maximum two months, you should be stabilizing and then starting to drop weight. If you're not, there's a reason, and I'm going to tell you what it is, cooked carbs. I'm not hating on the cooked carbs, okay? Peace to the cooked carbs, but here's the thing. Cooked carbs do not satiate you satiate. I had a little lisp on that. Did y'all hear that? So they just don't satisfy you because they don't have the nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins in there that you need. So it's almost like, I said this the other day, they have an addictive quality because of that. Your body demands what it needs and it's going to cause you to keep eating, 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 eating. I, I used to do this. I mean, when I used to eat rice and all that, even cooked potatoes and all that, I could eat the whole bag until I was like, my stomach was engorged that I couldn't even breathe. I would think, dang, I got to go to bed. I mean, because it doesn't satisfy you. What satisfies you is carbs from fruit. Getting your main calorie carbs from, carb calories from fruit and then filling in the gaps of the minerals and vitamins that you need in fat with your greens and your vegetables. Adding in X amount of avocados depending on your calorie intake, so it's 10%. This is the key. I mean, somebody was on there this morning talking about they've gained 30 pounds. Something's not right. If you've gained 30 pounds on this lifestyle, you're not doing it right because uh, unless you are a person that's coming from anorexia, bulimia, your body has serious metabolic damage and you're not, you're not at the correct weight anyway. Maybe you're six feet tall, almost six feet tall like me and you weigh 90 pounds, okay, your body's going to gain weight and it needs to. Your body has a natural weight it goes to. Um, you know, if I let my weight plummet down, I don't feel as good. I mean, I could, I could easily drop another 15 pounds if I don't keep my calories up. You know, I'm at a weight now that I think it's, it's good for me. However, on a doctor's chart, I look seriously underweight. My body mass index looks way under what it should be to be healthy. Wrong. That's because that's just like vanity sizing in the, in the store. What used to be a size 6 is now a size 0. Hello, we're not stupid. Well, that's what doctors are doing, just so you can be in the healthy range, you know? Because if you're in their healthy range and it's still unhealthy, guess what? You're creating disease and you're creating them money, 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 money. So, back to basics is what I'm saying, like, um, let's just look at this. When you eat fruits and vegetables, most, most vegetables have a negative calorie effect. Like, it takes your body more calories to digest and utilize vegetables than they actually have in them. There's a reason why this lifestyle works and you can cram in as many calories as you want and it's not cooked carbs. However, if you're coming from your, your sad standard American diet and you've been eating cheeseburgers and you're going to fruit in the morning, you're having steamed veggies at lunch and you're having plain corn pasta at night, guess what? You'll probably lose weight at first. You're going to have to progress to the main thing, you know. Um, 
And I'm not saying everybody wants to be 100% raw or has to be 100% raw, but if you're gaining weight on this lifestyle, friends, there's a reason why, and it, it doesn't have to be like that. I, I'm afraid that's what, ha what has happened with the promoting of some cooked carbs as a backup plan, a backup plan. Remember that, backup plan. Is people take the backup plan to the extreme, and like I said, it becomes the forefront of your diet. And then the raw fruits and vegetables are your backup plan. How did that happen? Because cooked carbs don't satiate you. That's why, that's what happens, you know? I'm just trying to say from a loving point of view that everybody, everybody can be slim and move their body and feel good about their self. You know, the way nature intended you to be. Free and slim and happy and healthy, you know? Let's go back to basics. It scares me to feel this way.